DK21 here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you are new around here, make sure to press that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about something different. We're going to be talking about uh, 10 tips to help you lose weight and lose fat faster. It doesn't even have to be to lose weight, just to, to start eating more healthy and making it a routine. So um, starting off at tip number one, it is uh, counting your calories. Um, I noticed that counting your calories really helps. It really helps with um, weight loss or whenever you want to maintain calories, just because with this one, if you don't want to count your calories, you could either get a diary and just write every single thing that you eat throughout the day, every single day. This is going to rely a lot on your conscience because, you know, if you were to eat 10 bags of chips on a regular day and you could easily make yourself believe that, oh, I didn't eat that bad that day or, you know, it was only 10 bags of chips. But if you were to write that in a diary, you're going to look at that and realize, wow, how bad that is or you're going to realize how high in calories that is. So keeping track of your food inside of a diary will really help you to control yourself and you're going to basically learn to be accountable for your actions and your decisions when eating. With counting your calories too, that helps a lot with um, being precise with every little calorie. When counting your calories, we're looking at counting how many calories you consume and counting how many calories you burn. So obviously, if you want to lose weight, you're going to be in a calorie deficit, which basically just means you're going to try and burn more calories than you're consuming or you're going to try and eat less than you usually would. So eat less than your maintenance calories. Going on to tip number two, we're going to be talking about eating slower. So this will help your stomach to know when it's actually full because there's, I know a lot of times we always rush our food. We're eager to just finish it and eat. And then uh, by the time we're done with our food, we'll still be feeling hungry. So we're going to instantly just look for a snack or just look for something unhealthy just to snack on. And then by the time you're done with that, you realize you're really, really, really full. But you're like, before you weren't full. And the reason this happens is because it takes about 20 minutes for your stomach to realize that it's full. The best way to help with this is to start eating slower. I know it's kind of hard to eat slow at times, especially for me. I know I just like to like, I'm always concentrating on my food whenever I'm eating. You know, I just, I'm eager to eat, especially if um, I just got done with a workout or something like that. So, but um, a tip to help with this is to maybe watch uh, a TV show while eating your food or just watch something that you like. Maybe like uh, your favorite YouTuber, your favorite Netflix show. And this will basically take your attention away from the food. So you're not completely focusing on the food. So it's going to distract you. And that distraction will automatically make you eat a lot slower. I recently started doing this and it really does help like watching i always watch youtube when eating now and it always instantly makes me eat slower and i notice by the time i'm finished with my dinner i'm always left feeling really full so moving on to tip number three we're going to be talking about balancing your calories throughout the day you don't want to eat all your calories in the morning let's say and then you're you're left leaving hungry for the rest of the day and if you let yourself get too hungry Instantly, that's just going to, you know, make you crave sugary things, crave all these junk foods. And then instantly you're going to just want to go and binge eat and just eat a lot of stuff. And that's going to ruin your progress and ruin uh, how far you get on that. So um, I highly recommend for you to balance your uh, calories evenly throughout the day. So maybe let's say if you have a 2000 calorie uh, maintenance goal or that's what you eat on a regular day. Um, maybe for breakfast, eat around 600 calories. For lunch, eat around 600 calories. And then uh, later in the evening, you can uh, finish off with a bigger meal just so you, know, you don't go to bed feeling hungry and uh, so that you don't end up overeating. The main goal is just to try to not overeat as much as possible. The main thing we're trying to achieve is just to not feel like you're starving yourself. Because once that happens, you're you're most likely going to be more prone to just, you know, go and binge on a bunch of unhealthy and junk foods. 
So um, moving on to tip number four, we're gonna be talking about um, intermediate fasting. So uh, a lot of people, you know, I'm sure you guys have heard about intermediate fasting before. Me personally, I do intermediate fasting. Basically what intermediate fasting is, is you're gonna have an eight hour time period where you can eat. So usually from 12 to 8 p.m. And then uh, all the way from 8 p.m all the way to um, uh, 12 p.m. So 16 hours, you're gonna be fasting and then eight hours, you're gonna be eating within that time period. I'm not saying you're gonna be eating for eight hours straight. It's just in between, in between those eight hours, that's the time period where you're allowed to eat. For me, you know, a lot of people have said that it has a bunch of benefits and stuff. But for me, what I've noticed is that it really helps me with uh, fat loss and uh, and it helps me to stop gaining any weight. So let's say the previous day, I did overeat a little bit or I'm a bit on the heavy side. Whenever um, I get into my fasting period, my my stomach will be able to digest every single food inside my belly. We don't really realize how long it does take our stomach to digest some foods. Like um, sometimes it takes up to 10 hours, even more than that for some foods. So whenever you keep eating continuously, all that food is just getting dumped into your stomach. And uh, it's, it's basically not gonna allow your stomach to digest all the food properly. So intermediate fasting really helps to digest all the food. So by the time you're ready to eat your, your first meal in the day, you know that you're actually hungry because you, you yourself will be able to feel that your stomach is empty and it's gonna stop you from gaining any excess weight or anything like that. While intermediate fasting, uh, especially if you're trying to lose fat a lot faster, I highly recommend you guys to start doing cardio while intermediate fasting. So let's say you wake up like 8 a.m. in the morning, um, try and get in like maybe an hour or two hours of cardio or as much as you really can, as much as your body can handle, just try and get in some cardio. Because you're fasting, uh, you're not really gonna have much food to use for fuel. So, straight away your body will most likely use your fat to uh, use as fuel so any workouts you do or any calories you burn the fuel that your body will be using will be coming straight from your fat storage so um, that's a great way to burn some fat so uh, moving on to tip number five we're going to be talking about think before you eat so think before you eat this is just really before you go and eat something actually think think in your head am i really hungry because a lot of the time you know we think we're hungry but we're just we're just bored or you know we just want something to do so actually think to yourself are you hungry sometimes when you're hungry try and think with your stomach but whenever you want to eat think with your head so that you don't let your hunger take control of whatever you eat and you don't want your your head to control whenever your belly eats so you have to think with your stomach what, what time, at what time to eat and think with your head what to eat. So uh, moving on to tip number six, we're gonna be talking about a nutritionally balanced meal. So I know you guys have heard of this phrase a lot of times, but what is it? So basically this is just um, the balance between your carbs, your protein and your fats. Usually if you're trying to lose fat, or you're trying to lose weight either way, you're gonna want to increase your protein intake and decrease your fat intake. Carbohydrates too, you would wanna slightly decrease that because uh, carbs, what carbs does is it holds water weight in your body. So anytime you're eating excess carbs, those carbs are gonna help to store excess water in your body, which will turn out to you gaining excess weight or you just being more heavy than you actually are. But when we're talking about increasing your protein, this basically just helps leaving you feel fuller. So whenever you have a meal high in protein, you're most likely gonna be a lot more fuller than if it was the same exact portion, but let's say carbs. So we all know protein is good for building muscles. This leads us kind of into uh, tip number seven, try to do weight training. So you don't actually really have to use weights. I know. A lot of you guys probably don't have weights available to you, especially now in quarantine. Most gyms are closed and stuff like that. 
So um, the best thing for you to do is just like, I guess you can do some push-ups at home, some squats, uh, any type of body workout. Try and make sure that your body is mostly muscle because the more muscle your body has, the faster your metabolism will be and the more calories your metabolism will burn. But uh, moving on, we're going to be talking about cravings. So cravings, um, I know we all get cravings, you know, you might be watching uh, TV and all of a sudden, you know, you're craving some candy or you're craving some ice cream or something like that. Um, the best thing to do with cravings is to have a plan, have an idea in your head. So think whenever you're craving something to eat, think in your head ahead of time. So think uh, whenever I get a craving, let me do this. Whenever you crave something, try and like think mentally think ahead of time what you're gonna do whenever you get a craving. So, so I could say, um, okay, whenever I get a craving, I'm gonna go and eat a piece of fruit just to stop me from eating extra calories so that whenever the craving does occur, I already know what to do in my head. And it won't be a struggle because if you're mentally unsure about what to do when the craving happens, you're more likely to fall into the trap of eating whatever and you know ruining your progress and stuff like that. So uh, moving on to tip number nine, we're going to be talking about um, staying hydrated. This is very important, obviously for my athletes out there, this is important, but for anybody really, this is important because at times we we get hungry. We Well, at times we think that we're hungry when we're actually thirsty. Obviously, if you're not actually hungry and you're eating, you're gonna be eating unnecessary calories and it's just gonna eventually lead to weight gain and that's something we're trying to avoid. Moving on to the last and final tip, we're gonna be talking about 100% clean meals. So with this, it's really physically impossible to eat 100% clean. Nobody can do this. And trying to do this would just mess up your brain. Most likely you're gonna fail whichever diet you're on or whatever goals you have, it's not really gonna happen. So never try to eat 100% clean. But what you can do is balance the healthy with the unhealthy. So let's say you really like ice cream, okay? Once in a while, you can fit in some ice cream into your macros. So maybe like every two weeks, you have a cheat, um, a cheat meal, or every month you have a cheat day. So, or let's say in a day, you eat 80% healthy and 20% like, not really 20% unhealthy, but like 20% of whatever you want. But while making sure you're obviously thinking about your calories. Eating healthy can really be fun, you know? The main thing is just trying to make healthy eating a lifestyle. Because if it's something that you feel like you're really forcing yourself to do and it's really hard in your body, it's not really gonna last. But trying to make this something that can last for the long term so trying to make it as enjoyable as possible healthy food doesn't have to be boring or it doesn't have to be uh disgusting or whatever it can be delicious you can make you can easily make healthy delicious food you can incorporate the foods that you like into your into your daily consumption just by trying to uh make it a lot more healthier you can always you know fit your favorite foods into your uh lifestyle but just um, being considerate of the macros, the calories, and how often you're eating it. But you can always make eating healthy fun. It's something that you should be able to do for the long term. I to wrap up the video right here. Those were the 10 tips on how to lose weight and lose fat faster. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you're not already. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below, tell me what you thought. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.